Boosh. Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Constrictors. So today I wanted to film the Pied Clutch. I wanted to do a follow-up video on the Pied Clutch and also a follow-up video on the Superfly Leopard Clown Clutch. But before I cut to them, uh, first I want to apologise for letting my channel go a little bit quiet. A lot of you, including today, uh, people have asked when the next video is due to come out. Um, I've just been really busy with work and stuff. So uh, I had to kind of get my priorities right and unfortunately YouTube doesn't make me any sort of money really so obviously I had to focus on work and uh, push my business forward but back on it um, I've got a, another cool clutch coming up on the 27th of this month so as long as a couple of babies pip on the 27th around the 27th or 28th I'll have no, another cutting video I had a, a really exciting clutch the other day for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram or or, uh, or Facebook, um, it was a super fly clown, so super pastel fire clown bred to a pastel spot nose clown. I'm really looking to get uh, fire into my spot nose uh, uh, offspring, so obviously f for some holdbacks. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of interest already registered for them babies. So that's another really exciting clutch coming up. And my pastel leopard clown, and she was also bred to my pastel spot nose clown, uh, she's about to drop in the next probably week, week and a half. So that's uh, another exciting clutch for Batmans. Now, it does look like I'm going to miss a Gotham this, this season and the Fire Gotham and the Pastel Fire Gotham and the Super Pastel Fire Gotham and stuff like that because um, I've had... A, I've had I bred 40-something females this year and I've had nine clutches and one obviously didn't do anything because... Uh, the Orange Dream Pad and the Orange Dream Clown Clutch, it's like my Achilles heel. Um, I've never successfully uh, gone on to hatch Orange Dream Pads or Clowns for some reason. Um, it's just like um, it's just like I'm jinxed with that project for some reason. So I bred my Orange Dream Double Head Clown Pied to my Pied. Uh, she laid five slugs and one egg and the egg died a, a couple of weeks into incubation. So this season has been a bit, a bit of a crap one to be to be brutally honest but when you look at some of the babies I've hatched I've still hatched some tremendously awesome babies so a lot of you people are asking how can I be disappointed when you look at the bigger picture um, you obviously look at what you what you could hatch so although I've hatched some amazing stuff I've also missed a lot of amazing stuff so now Gotham's if I hatched the Gotham this season I would keep it uh, male or female I'd keep it I just really like the look of them so it looks like I'm going to miss it all my double hat hypo clown uh, combinations, uh, none of them have gone, not one, uh, really strange. Uh, but like I was talking to somebody yesterday, it's given me an opportunity to really condition my females further. So although if you, if you ask me, would I prefer to have clutches? Yes, I would have, but on the flip side, I'll get slightly bigger clutches next season if they choose to go. And also their conditioning is even better than it once was. So. A little bit of a uh, mixed feelings about this season. I am going to do a video at the end of the season just to sum it all up. Just because I want to be able to recap. Um, five years down the line, I'd like to look at the video I do at the end of this year and see where I was then and see where I am um, at present day and just see how Urban Constrict has, has evolved. There's a lot of big things happening for Urban. Um, I'm really excited and I'm really excited to take you guys along the route. Like I was talking to Miguel uh, yesterday on from Always Evolving Pythons, I was just saying to him it's really nice for people like me to follow his progress and his, his YouTube channel went from zero subscribers to about 25,000 subscribers in a very short space of time is he's, he's incredibly successful on YouTube and it, it, it's people like myself who just like to follow along and I've, I've watched him grow his collection and from this almost like makeshift um, insulated sort of tent in his garage next to his stunning cars um, to a, an outbuilding a um, bit like what I'm building uh, so I've took uh, inspiration from Miguel's channel and uh, I'm, I'm incorporating it into urban uh, further so thanks Miguel for that I, uh, I do appreciate it and it is really nice to watch how you and your family your wife and, and your children get involved it's really cool and moving forward because me and my wife and three sons are moving into a bigger house it's got a really large beautiful kitchen with bifolding doors so we can open the doors up and let the outside kind of be part of our house and Urban Constrictor is going to be right at the bottom of the garden because it's a, it's an L-shaped garden, so the sort of L is going to be all of Urban Constrictor. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, and 
I'm going to incorporate a bit more sort of family aspect to it just like Miguel um, because a lot of us guys are very family oriented as well so I'm really excited to 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 uh, to watch my channel evolve and see where it wants to come if you if you go right back a year ago and see how my video started Jesus I, I'm almost tempted to, to delete them all because they are so incredibly bad but I won't do that because it shows the evolving um, uh, channel the channel progressing and getting better and better and better so it's nice to 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 kind of to do these videos as as a recap and, and to share what i'm doing so anyway i've talked for long enough but i just want to quickly touch base on the ihs show it's coming up a week today so this coming sunday the ihs show the doncaster show um i'll be there vending urban constrictors will be there and um stop by say hello introduce yourself check out some of the awesome snakes i have on display and uh, some of the awesome snakes that I am offering to the public. Um, I'm taking from very, very um, relatively accessible snakes, like let's say a banana 66% possible head clown, so something that was relatively inexpensive to like four or five thousand pound snakes. So just to really showcase um, basically what I'm doing and uh, to what what sort of customers I can apply to uh, those with deep pockets and those with slightly less deep pockets um, because I like dealing with people so it doesn't matter if you're spending £100 or £5,000 with me I really like helping people and, and, and getting uh, one of my snakes into their collection and I like to see how enthusiastic people are about getting a snake from me it is really flattering and I do appreciate that. Um, and lastly, I just want to touch base on Billy at Mutation Creations. He's doing some just phenomenal stuff. And he recently did that co contest and it was absolutely fantastic. Um, looks like they had some uh, a fantastic time. Uh, there's a lady called Brittany on, on YouTube, on Facebook, probably on, on YouTube as well, but a lady called Brittany um, who took some outstanding photos, really inspirational photos. She really captured the moment. That's, I'm quite good at photography but she is levels and levels higher than me. I can take good snake pictures, but she really captured the moment, so well done to her for that. Uh, but back to Billy, doing some awesome stuff, and me and Billy, hopefully, are gonna do a little bit of business in the coming months. I'm really looking forward to adding one or two snakes from Billy, because he hatches some amazing stuff. So just like when I watch some of my customers get really excited about buying a snake from me, Billy will will see me getting really excited about buying a snake from him and stuff like that. So anyway, without further ado, I will cut to the pied clutch. Uh, really pleased with how this clutch turned out. It was a little bit bittersweet, which I'll talk about in the video. And then um, I'll, I'll do an update on the Superfly clutch. All right, guys. Cheers. Boosh. Right, guys. So we'll take a look at this clutch. Now, obviously, I always do it in kind of reverse order. Now... I'm thinking this one is a pastel yellow belly pied. Now it's not the kind of A grade um, I, I think the other ones are. It's a little bit duller, it's not quite as sharp, but because I, I'm doing a, I'm, I have a lot of plans with yellow belly pied and stuff, I've decided to keep every one from this clutch apart from one of the males and the other male did uh, sell immediately. So there's the first one. Now, I did do a split clutch, uh, split father, sorry. I did do a dual sire with this female, but um, it was uh, solely, um, uh, solely, um, oh, what's the word? Sired by one uh, male, the Superfly clown, uh, su Superfly pied, sorry. Sorry, guys, I'm really messing this up. Superfly pied, which I then uh, sold. Uh, I advertised him and he sold in under five minutes, which was, I did sell him a little bit cheap. I only asked 900 quid for him, so I did sell him a little bit cheap, but it is what it is. So I really like this female uh, because it has this amazing pumpkin orange uh, dot with just a tiny few black pixels uh, and then like a little smudge down the side. I just, I just love that. It's just fantastic. Uh, I know it's, you, people might think, well, it's just a spot, but I just, I love it. And the oranges on this particular female is phenomenal, and it has all these uh, sort of deeper browns and different pixels. It's a, it's a really, really pretty snake. Now, I'm just going to move the mic, just bear with me, because I can hear this lens um, 
I can hear this lens correcting its focus and I'm trying not to let the mic pick up on it too much because it is a little bit irritating hearing it. So yeah, that's another, uh, that, that one's going to be, these two are going to be holdbacks. Now, the third one I would have really liked to have held back, but it is a male and because the next one I'm going to show you is also a male. Now, I've had a couple of people give me their opinions on this because I couldn't decide if I thought it was a pastel yellow belly or if it also had fire. Now, a few people have said uh, pastel yellow belly and a few people have said pastel yellow belly fire. So it's kind of juries out, but um, I've sold it to a returning customer and he's happy. I'm just going to remove these two. He's happy to uh, buy him no matter if he has fire or not because it's, it's the yellow belly part. I think he's really, well, it is the yellow belly part he's really looking forward to and hoping to get in his collection. So I would have loved to have kept that. that that is almost the perfect amount of colour color to white ratio for myself. The only thing I would have changed if it was possible is just a few more bits of white just to break that pattern up further. But this male is outstanding. His colours are phenomenal and the blacks are the deepest amongst, uh, amongst this clutch. is just phenomenal. But because I'm keeping this male, and because I'm keeping this male, there's no real sense in hanging on to him. Now this is the kind of pick of the clutch. This is absolutely, without question, a pastel yellow belly fire pied. Uh, just stunning. Really, really like this. Um, this is, again, close to the perfect uh, distribution of colour to, to white. Um, me, personally, I would have just added a, f a little bit more of the pattern if it was obviously uh, possible if it was kind of you know uh, completely man-made or something let me just sorry guys I'm just gonna quickly put the lid on because I've got one of these pies who's very inquisitive and she wants to leave this box so so this clutch is uh, they've been a little bit stubborn to get feeding uh, one of my first clutch, I think it was my very first, no it was my second clutch, uh, they would, they just, it was like ducks to water, they, uh, with regards to feeding, they just got on it straight away. So yeah, that's the, uh, that's the whole back mail for myself, I'll be looking forward to plugging him, to, him into a lot of different combinations down the line. What do you guys think? Hope you like these, uh, the colours are just stunning, the, the blacks here are equally as dark as the um, the other male, uh, more pronounced than than the females. Now this is one of the reasons why people are saying uh, they think the other male does have fire, but then because a couple of people says I don't think it does have fire, and I, me personally, I'm not I'm not convinced it does. Um, I'd rather sell it as one gene less, and the customer ends up with a bonus rather than sell it as one gene more, and the customer proves um, m you know my identification to be wrong. Um, that's not good business. I'd, I'd I'd always rather someone got the got a bonus than 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 to lose out because what's you know what's better than a happy customer um, you know so you've got a you know and he is a returning customer. And he's a really good guy. Uh, he's a really nice lad. So is uh, one way or another uh, he'll be more than happy with getting the one he gets. So I'll bring them all out so you can see them all side by side. So I'm going to have to be quick because unlike some of my hatchlings, these three don't like to sit still. So uh, These four, sorry, don't like to sit still. So that's the clutch. Some beautiful colour there. Really, really beautiful oranges. Um, I'm really pleased with this clutch. So now I'm going to show you uh, an update on the Superfly Leopard Clown Clutch. Bear with me. Right guys, so now to feature the Superfly Leopard Clown Clutch to a Pastel Heck Clown. So because I wasn't working with both visual clowns, I did hatch some hets. Now, I'm not disappointed about that because these have turned out to be stunning and it's helped get some people, some beautiful snakes into their collections that maybe couldn't afford the visual version. So this is a beautiful, really, really beautiful uh, Pastel Fire Heck clown so a firefly heck clown really stunning the contrast in this animal is beautiful uh, 
this one is for sale and it is uh, female so with females I'm never in a great rush to sell them uh, if they if they don't sell then I'll, I'll be happy to keep that because getting a snake like that into your clown uh, combination is never a bad thing so next up and this sold to a good friend of mine Stu from Cold Blooded Movements this is the same as the last snake but then adding leopard to the mix the contrast in this particular snake is just stunning if it was a male I would have kept it now I did um, well Stu brought me some monitor lizards for my shop uh, almost a year ago and the deal was for me to hatch him a beautiful snake for payment and then if there's anything obviously outstanding um, he would pay the difference so Stu um, told me what he wanted so I was very very fortunate in, in making that happen uh, for Stu this is beautiful and I, I do think he'll really appreciate the quality of this snake the yellows are so bright and the blacks are so bold it's the, the contrast in this snake is phenomenal um, I, I'm, I'm really fortunate that I've built a, a very nice collection and I do hatch some beautiful snakes I know that does sound big headed and I don't mean for it to be but I am very proud of what I do the, the, the snake is truly stunning so then we move on to this now I'm, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not convinced Spotnose didn't sire some, some of the babies because my mind's, well I can't make my mind up whether I think this is a Super Pastel Fire Het for Clown or maybe Pastel Fire Spotnose Het Clown because I've done so much research and some pictures look similar, some pictures look nothing like and I can't decide. This is a male so he is for sale but I, I need to, you can see he eats real well too because look at the size of him. He's, he's a right chunky monkey. Um, I need to do more research in, in working out what this snake is, but the blues are there. This snake is like a silvery blue colour. He's just stunning. Uh, obviously, he's head for clown, but even with nothing to do with clown, that is a, a phenomenal snake. Absolutely gorgeous. His head's just stunning. But yeah, so that's the question mark snake. Right guys, so last up, and I am very pleased to say I get to keep this snake because it is a female. What I think is a super pastel fire leopard head clown or maybe something to do with spot nose. Now you're probably thinking, well spot nose and leopard are nothing like each other. You're absolutely right, they're not. But when they're mixed into certain genes, they act a little bit similar. So some people have said they think this is a super pastel fire leopard and also some people have said the same but with leopard out of the mix and spot nose in so whatever she is she's staying here so i'll look forward to um unlocking that i have match up as a super pastel fire leopard het for clown but if you know if someone sh showed me bulletproof evidence that she's spot nose they're not it's a simple rub it out and write spot nose where leopard once was but the contrast in this snake is stunning it's absolutely beautiful uh, the it's it's kind of all like stone washed out the people say all oh, royals are boring and the pet rocks and that I, I kind of get what you're saying but when you're hatching snakes with contrast like this and contrast like that how could you not want to be a part of that the royal game is amazing now if you don't like them that's fine but for people that do I, I get it they're just stunning 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 snakes and very easy to keep and very very uh, forgiving great for children and stuff like that so now we'll look at the visuals right so now we'll take a look at the visual clowns so because this was a dual side clutch I did the pastel spot nose clown to the pastel clown a uh, pastel head clown sorry and the superfly leopard clown I don't know if the Pastel Spot Nose got to sire one of these two. Now, it's these two have got me so confused because I've hatched a ton of Pastel Clams before and I kind of know what to look for. And I'd say these were just Pastel Clams, but what's got me confused is their heads are very, very different. This one's got loads of spotting. And that's the exact same head as the other Pastel Spot Nose Clown. But the other Pastel Spot Nose Clown is much cleaner, much brighter, and the blacks are way more intense. So, 
I, I, part of me is thinking, well, these are just two kind of random variations of pastel clown. But some are saying this one could have some sort of spot nose influence. Now, whether the pastel spot nose clown was the father of this particular baby, but didn't pass on the spot nose gene, and maybe his genetics has, have had a mild influence, maybe that's the case. But for now, I'm just going to hang on to these two and really work it out. Now, just so you can see what I'm talking about, I'll grab the pastel spot nose clown so you can really see what I'm trying to get across. So that's the pastel spot nose clown and she's been eating very very well ready for her new owner she's doing fantastically well she's really beautiful now her whites are tremendously white very very beautiful like mother of pearl whites she has a little bit of yellow uh, interrupting some of the whites which just adds for a little bit more interest to her she, she's just stunning but if you kind of look at her head and then you look at that one's head, and it's probably about to bite me. You can see they're very similar, and then you look at that one's head, and it's completely different. So if I get these two together, part of me is wondering if this is like an A grade, and this is like a B grade. Now, because I like to breed the best of the best, and I wouldn't then choose to, I don't think, keep this female, because if I, if I start holding what I deem as B grade animals back, then my future offspring are not gonna be as good as I obviously planned. But these are so incredibly similar where that one is the kind of ugly duckling out of the free. Uh, with no disrespect to that one. But it is very, very dirty. And it's um, these two are definitely, definitely on a different level. Particularly this one. Now, because I have another spot nose clutch uh, coming, a uh, pastel spot nose clutch coming, I can then obviously further uh, play them off against each other and really work out what's going on. So I'll carry on showing this particular clutch, bear with me. So moving away from them two, we'll get the uh, truly stunning and fortunately a female pastel fire leopard clown. Absolutely stunning. I'm so pleased to hit a female because then I get another hole back just love what leopard and pastel does with a clown and then fire just takes it to a whole new level i absolutely love this female i'm so i really i'm so pleased it's a female so i get to keep that and then to then take it to another level and i'm disappointed this one is a male because i would have kept this one too the firefly clown just stunning because obviously i own her father what's Sorry, I said a firefly clown. I meant a super flight clown. So a super pastel fire leopard clown. Quite a gobful. Uh, because I own her father, no real sense in keeping him. Sorry. Because I own his father, no real sense in keeping him. Because, you know, his, his father's a proven breeder. I've got no real use for him. But he's got that amazing, stunning... Um, that stunning, beautiful, um, stone-like head just what it's it's just amazing what what that extra copy of fire does uh, sorry extra copy of pastel do you know i'm really sorry about this video guys i am absolutely mumbling everything up i'm <laughs> a little bit out of practice but yeah so th there's there's nothing bad about that snake at all but then when you take it when you put one more copy of pastel in and you take it to that level my word it's just amazing the colours are sharper, brighter, better. The head is uh, more reduced, and it's got you can see every single scale. They're so pronounced. The dorsal becomes more of a lavender colour than sort of like that almost gunmetally grey colour. Don't get me wrong, I love this snake, and I'm really pleased to to hold it back. But this is just on another level, and this one is currently for sale. Uh, but this isn't a sale video, so I'm not going to go too much into that. Just really, really, really uh, pleased about this clutch. I'm hoping the next clutch uh, has a lot of females in because everything's going to be at least clown, so I get to hold more and more back. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. If you liked this video, give it a, a thumbs up, if you will, please. Drop a comment in the comments box. If you go into the IHS show, uh, stop by, say hello, introduce yourself. I'm looking forward to meeting people like um, Max Morphs and that. And there's going to be a lot of guys and girls that I haven't met 
yet so it'd be really nice to put actual people to names because i know obviously a lot of your faces with facebook and youtube but uh, it would be nice to actually get to know you so i'll probably take this mail just to show him off so you get to see his true beauty just how well i will for a fact take this now just how amazing he is so yeah if you like this video guys please give it a thumbs up and i'll talk to you soon cheers <laughs>